Hi, this is Chaz Bingham with Wings of Eagles. Today we're going to be going up and working on stalls and their recoveries. Alright, so I'm going to use Short Mountain as my visual reference. You can use heading indicator, but uh, typically I think it's better to keep your eyes outside the airplane. So, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the power to 15. I'm going to hold the nose off here to bleed off this airspeed once I get under 85. I'm going to go flaps full. Okay. Extra pull and fuel selectors on both for this for the landing configuration. All right, now I'm establishing a descent like I'm coming into land, envisioning the runway out in front. Runway is made, power's to idle, and I'm holding the nose off like I'm entering the flare. I'm just gonna hold it here on the horizon. We'll hear the stall horn as a warning. Here's the stall, nose over, full power, flaps 10, and I'm pitching for VY. Okay, we have a positive rate. Go flap zero. Holding that airspeed. My positive rate. So as not to lose much altitude. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah. So that's kind of the way I teach people for their check ride. If I really stall Good above controls. the above the ground, uh, my controls. Uh, the way I like to do it is involves another extra step. So I've got the power back. Flaps full, and the the way I just showed is perfectly safe, and it, it will, it, you know, it'll save you in a stall. But I think this allows you to lose less altitude on the recovery technique. So we're back to power idle. Nose is on the horizon here. We're gonna stall. We'll make sure this is a full one. Okay, there's the stall. Nose over, full power. Flaps 10, and then hold VX. So VX is going to get you away from the ground quicker, right? See how fast we get a positive rate? Now oh, I'm yeah. going flap zero and I would pitch for VY. Uh, it just adds an extra step, but it does, it, it keeps you from losing as much altitude there. Nice. All right, my controls. Your controls. Okay, so we're going to say 5,200 or 4,200. Okay. So to 1,500. Yep. Below 85. Flaps full. Full flaps. Yeah, full stop on this one. Depend on the runway. One nine for land. Clear land. All right, uh, and pull that power the, to idle. Uh, yep. Yep. Now just hold that nose. Yeah, and just hold it right there on the horizon. Make sure you're staying coordinated with the rudder. That's what's yep, going to keep you from breaking. It. So keep pulling back a little bit here. Uh, we've got the traffic spotter. Done. There you go. Nose over. Full power. Flaps 10. There you go. Oh. And pitch for VX. There it is. Perfect. And, and wait till the positive rate. You positive do have rate. a positive rate. Five zero. See how much altitude you lost? Hardly any at all. Yeah. So for a power on stall, uh, essentially we're just going to bring the power back to 15 like we do when we start off uh, on the power off stall. Just to reduce the airspeed to a rotate speed, so around 60 or so. Once we get to 60, we're going to go to full power, and we're just going to pitch up. You know, uh, real life scenario, you're trying to get over a flock of birds, something of that nature. Pitch up too much. As we start getting slower, the left turning tendency is going to get quite a bit more significant, so we use more and more right rudder. And uh, when we stall, just push the nose forward, reduce the angle of attack. And that's about it. So, to demonstrate one here, we are in the takeoff configuration, so mixture is full, uh, fuel selector is on both, and we do not have any flaps in. So we'll reduce power to 15 here, we'll get slowed down, we'll hold the nose off on the horizon. So to reduce that airspeed, we'll get to 60, and I'm going to go full power, and I'm pitching my nose up, just a little too much here. Hear the stall horn. And there's the stall. All you do is push the nose over to reduce the angle of attack and get that airspeed back up. Very nice.